Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video on Charan's Q-Shape. I hope everyone is doing good. Today we'll be preparing a vegetarian snack and this snack is very easy to prepare and very tasty. Today we'll be preparing paneer corn cutlet. As the name suggests it has paneer, corn and also has potatoes. It is very simple to prepare and to go along with that we'll also prepare some mint chutney to go along with the cutlet. So without any delay let's get cooking and get spiced. It is a very simple dish. Here are the ingredients for paneer corn cutlet. We need all purpose flour, 200 grams of corn, 200 grams of paneer, cornstarch flour, garlic, ginger, green chilies, 400 grams of potato and then medium onion. We take the onion and chop them into small cubes. If you prefer, you can take any other type of onion and if you want you can increase the onion accordingly we take 200 grams of corn in a mixer and blend them into a fine puree we take a grater and grate the paneer into medium size you can grate them fine if you prefer Once you have grated the paneer, we grate the potatoes also into medium size. You can grate them into fine if you want. We take two chilies and cut them fine. You can avoid it if you don't want it too spicy. We take about three to four cloves of garlic and one inch of ginger and mince them fine. You can also take the ready-made ginger garlic paste if you prefer. Once we have prepared the ingredients, we will now prepare the mixture for the cutlet. We add the potatoes, the grated paneer, the mashed corn, the onions into one big bowl. To this we'll add 2 tablespoons of all purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch flour and also add the spices along with it. 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, salt according to taste and if you want half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. We add the chilies and mix them into a fine paste. Don't forget to add the minced garlic and ginger to the same. We mix it all into a fine paste. If it is a bit wet, we add some cornstarch flour to make it more consistent in order to make the cutlets and mix them into a fine mixture. Now we'll make cutlets out of the mixture and place them on a plate. You can vary the sizes of the cutlet depending on how you prefer them. Alongside this we take some oil in the pan and once the oil is hot we add the cutlets to shallow fry them. We shall flip the cutlets once they are golden brown on one side. Once we flip all the cutlets, we make sure that they are crispy and golden brown on the other side also. We need to shallow fry them for 5 to 7 minutes until they are golden brown and well cooked. Once the cutlets are golden brown and crispy on both sides, we can remove them from the oil. To go along with the cutlets, we will prepare some mint chutney along with this. Preparing mint chutney is pretty easy. We take mint and coriander in 2 is to 1 ratio. 2 portions of mint and 1 portion of coriander. If you prepare it spicy, then you can add green chilies. You can add 3 to 4 cloves of garlic and 1 inch of ginger. Salt according to taste and mix them into a fine puree. You can add some water and enjoy it as it is or add 2 tablespoons of yogurt and mix it well to make a yogurt based mint chutney. Mint chutney is ready. Enjoy with the cutlets. Serve the hot cutlet with mint chutney or yogurt based mint chutney. You can also go for any other chutney of your preference. Enjoy. So that was paneer cutlet for you guys. Please do try it at home and let me know how it went in the comment sections. 
You can vary the proportions of paneer and potato according to your taste preference. Sometimes I prefer more paneer or the other way around. Do try the mint chutney also and let me know how it went or let me know in the comment sections which are the chutneys you would like to prefer and I will try to prepare them for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more such videos. Until next week, happy cooking and get spiced.